Hey, what's up guys? John from SNS Cycle here. In today's video, we're going to be talking to you about the SNS Handlebar Adjuster Kit for the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. Now, what comes inside the kit? You're going to get two lower risers. Now, on these lower risers, you will see that there's three holes. The reason why you're getting these risers is you'll be able to move the handlebars forward or towards you one inch with these risers. Now, it's going to accept your stock handlebars at the 7 8 and keep it in the stock height, but you'll be able to move forward or backwards if you're taller or shorter. Also in the kit, you'll receive some washers. Now these are actually spacers, they're a little thicker. What that's going to do is they're going to place underneath the actual lower riser, making sure it's flush and centered and mounted correctly. These are both made of billet and they're powder coated to a durable standpoint. Now that we've reviewed everything, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install it on this 650 that's on the rack right now. A couple tools that you'll need, a 14 millimeter wrench, a torque wrench with a 14 millimeter socket, and a six millimeter Allen key or Allen socket. All right, let's get started. Our first step in our installation process is to cover the tank. We're going to use this cloth right here. You can use a rag, a bigger rag, or a blanket. But the idea is to cover the tank, making sure that you do not hit it or scratch it when taking off the riser bolts. Now that we got the tank covered, we're going to go ahead and take off the riser bolts. Using a 14 millimeter wrench, we're going to go ahead and loosen the riser bolts like so. but we're not going to remove them completely. We're just gonna loosen them. We're gonna do this for both sides. Now that we've loosened the riser bolts, we're gonna go ahead and remove the handlebars using a six millimeter Allen socket. We're going to go ahead and take the handlebars and just set them forward like so. Now that we have the handlebars removed, we're going to go ahead and take the riser set off, the stock riser set. You want to keep the stock bolts. You're going to be reusing these. For this installation, we're going to go ahead and mount the handlebars as far forward as we can. You have a notch right here on the top point, and this will indicate that the holes are closer to you, and we'll be using this hole right here out of the three. If you wanted the handlebars closer to you, there's a notch on the bottom side, and that you would have the holes back towards the headlight or front tire, and you would use this hole to get it as close as possible. But for this installation, we're gonna go for a taller rider and push them farther out. Before installing, we're gonna add our spacer right here and add some blue Loctite to the riser bolt. Slide it through. Bring our new SNS riser kit and mount it to the bolt. We're gonna spin it on to get it started and then hand rotate it in. We're not going to torque these down until the end after the handlebars are mounted. And we're gonna repeat this for the other side. Now that we have the risers mocked up, we're gonna go ahead and take the handlebars and bring them back over and lay them into the risers like so, and put the top clamps back on. Before putting the bolts in, we're gonna add 
some blue Loctite to each of the bolts and hand tighten them in. And we're gonna repeat the same process for this side. Before we torque these down, we're gonna go ahead and just snug them in. Now that they're snug, we're gonna torque them down to 18 Newton meters. That's correct, 18 Newton meters. Now we're ready to go ahead and tighten up our riser bolts. And we will snug these. And then we will torque them down to 36 Newton meters. And there you have it. That's the SNS handlebar adjuster kit for the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Always follow us on our social media channels. And for more information about this product, check sscycle.com.